Hey C3, I wanted to update you on our fall reopening plans. In June, we reopened in-person services and that's gone very well. But now that school, the school year's upon us and fall's not far behind, I wanted to share with you about the reopening of our children's and our student ministries. We're trying to do all that we possibly can to provide the best spiritual experience in a safe and in healthy environment for you and your family. Throughout this pandemic, we have been adhering to the CDC and the local health department guidelines. And as we continue to adhere to that six foot rule, social distancing and the sanitary measures are all still in place. Our family ministry team has worked hard and long to come up with ways so that we can reopen and use our space that we have here at C3 on Sunday and Wednesday nights. Due to that social distancing and the strategies that they've come up with to keep the same students together, we're gonna to have to make some concessions so that we can effectively minister to our children and all of our students. So first, on August the 16th, our early childhood ministry will open and begin with our babies through pre-K department. And we'll provide a safe and an excellent in-person programming for them. Our volunteers will be ready and trained just for you and your children. We've enhanced our sanitizing. We've created a two-step program, a check-in process that will include a health screening, and we've adjusted our room capacities. And you'll see many more adjustments to ensure the safety for your children. Secondly, on Wednesday, September the 2nd, our 6th through 12th graders will reopen here on Wednesday nights. In praying together and working hard with our student ministry, our children's ministry has decided to take a pause on the K through 5th grade Wednesday night programming until further notice. And this is going to ensure that our student ministry will have use of the entire building to safely experience their full programming. I'm excited to announce that on Sunday, September the 13th, our station 419, our K through fifth grade, will reopen. And I know that's going to be a fun, it's gonna be an awesome time for our children and all of their small group leaders. We've taken with them the proper measure to ensure the safety for our kids to worship. And if for some reason you're unable to attend on a Sunday morning, you can still be able to access our online resources on the C3 website. And we'll be requiring that all our K through 12th grade students to wear masks as well as our volunteers during all of this program. But of course, if you forget one, we'll have one available for you and your child. And just as a reminder, our elementary program will be focused on Sunday mornings and our C3 youth will be focused on Wednesday nights. But I wanna leave you with some key details for you to know and to remember as we reopen. First of all, in order, for, in order for our K through 12th grade to fully enjoy the programming, they and their volunteers are gonna be required to wear a mask. We've enhanced, secondly, our cleaning and sanitizing throughout our programming. And lastly, we've added a health screening to our process for our volunteers and for all of our children and all of our students. And for you adults, uh, if you want to feel comfortable as you possibly can here at church and, and, and to make you feel comfortable is wearing a mask, well, I want you to know to please feel free to do so. But if you aren't ready to join us in the large group yet, or if someone or you and your family's not feeling well, please continue to watch C3 Online. We have some amazing online pastors that wanna care for you through that online experience. And as we complete each service, please be aware that we have sanitizing teams preparing for the next service. So if you could, you could help us by moving the traffic flow out of the building so that we can ensure enough time for our team to prepare for the next service. I mean, we'd also ask you that you be mindful of the families checking in and out as you move through the atrium area. Because we want to make this a smooth transition to ensure respect and care for all. I know I've given you a lot of information today, but I want you to know that our staff and our leadership are doing all we can to keep you and your family as safe as possible. So I really hope that we'll all be able to see you this Sunday here in person or online at C3 Online.